B-Boys have entered the arena. Only two have emerged as victors. We're halfway through the quarterfinals, and all bets are off as the stakes have never been higher. Welcome to the arena. Finals of the arena, it was a fundamental battle as Floor Phantom and Keeves faced off and brought their illest moves to the rocking challenge. Obviously, both of you have a, a, a really great foundation when it comes to your top rock. Phantom, always funky, always on beat, everything's on beat. Keeves, I think your tops are dope. I like your style of top. It was very close in my mind's eye. The winner is Floor Phantom. I got kind of got lucky because I got to go out second. So that was a good thing. I was able to answer. Uh, overall, just trying to really maintain composure, maintain my stamina, and maintain uh, the drive to do my thing. Yo, if I can tell my competitors anything in the next round, is be careful because the ghost dance is coming. So Floor Phantom will face off with Morris in the semifinals, and we'll see Keebs again in the YouTube Audience Award battle. I'm Angela Sun with D-Studio here at the arena. We've seen two incredible battles so far with equally incredible moves from our competitors. Flips, let's find out who's next to step forward into the octagon. Welcome back to the arena. It's about to get crazy. Quarterfinals number three. We have four guys left. Our next two B-boys are going to be Nino. B-boying and breaking, it's a dance that came up uh, in New York in the Bronx. A lot of the kids out there, they were dealing with a lot of the violence and, and just poverty and stuff like that. And then it kind of created itself, like these urban kids created B-boying on their own. Now it's so big, it's all over TV, everywhere, it's all over the world. So now it, with this event, the arena, what, what I really like about it is that they're actually putting the shine on the real B-boys and by saying a real b-boy is someone who has all aspects of the dance. I've been dancing for 17 years, so I, I try to basically strategize for each round. And at the same time, I try to keep my moves that I know I don't have to use against a certain person and use it on the right people. Just battling and testing yourself is, is really good. Win, lose, or draw, period. Kid Glide. Breaking is a lifestyle. It's how you approach the dance. It's how you interact with the music, with your moves. I'm able to express my life experiences within the dance, you know, and just play this this different character. My father, he's he's a very um, important person because he took dynamic rockers and helped helped that crew get into the mainstream. Being the son of my father, Glide, was a lot of pressure. Of course, I had a lot of haters, a lot of people that you know. I hated my pops, hated on me. He taught me to go into every battle with aggression. Your first impression should leave a mark on the other person. One, their confidence breaks down, and then two, there's like, I don't know how to react to that. Confidence, especially in a battle, confidence is, is key. I'm 29, everybody that's in the game is like 16 to like 24. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta you know, stick, stick with my guns and make sure I can hang with these younger guys. You know, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to represent, you know, I'm gonna do it for the world, everybody. Okay, Glide, what's it gonna be? Tails! Tails it is, Tails it is. Yo, El Nino's gonna go first. Kid Glide versus El Nino. Yo, drop that beat, Wick, it's on! Floor Lord Screw, El Nino! Round one. Oh, oh, no. Five, four, three, two, one. 
York City's bringing it back. Dynamic Rockers, give it to him, Pink Live. 30 seconds. These guys are not playing. It's the challenge round. Footwork! Give me that triangle. 15 seconds. Footwork. That's how you rock it. Five, four, three, two, one. Challenge round, kick line. Footwork, 15 seconds. Kill it. Dynamic rockers rocking the triangle. Glide, you got a full 30. Do what you want with it. Dynamic rockers. All around B-boy competition, y'all. They're bringing everything. Dynamic rockers. I think it was cool. I'm uh, glad I got the footwork. Uh, just because I like testing myself, you know what I mean? And the challenge round for you, Glide? Uh, it was dope, man. Smoke that kid. Oh! Much props to both of you. Awesome. Okay, Glide. I just think you did awesome, man. I was actually kind of looking for more an oomph, an explosion in your style. But overall, I think you did well. Pookie was on point the whole time for me. Each round was just sharp, dynamic, and uh, on point, like I said before. Yo, definitely props out to both y'all. I would say that Clyde, you know, you always pack a lot into your runs, and that's a good look. And it's a good look for the judges, because we see your versatility and all you got. But I do agree with Abstract. You just you seem a little slower, a little bit more weighed down, a little heavy with your feet. And, you know, I, I, I like a real light-footed approach. Pookie, you're light, you're crisp, you're clean. You know, you're super smooth with what you do. You both are packing serious weight in your b-boy game because you got a lot of text. Footwork's official on both ends. It's a good look with both y'all. Ah, oh, all right, well, here's my thing. Pookie, of course, comes with a million moves. <laughs> and even when he messes up, it's a dope move. Not many people can pull that off. Um, I, I thought that your weaker side was the fact that, or uh, the triangle. I thought Glide did a lot better than you. Uh, he kind of uh, had a lot of diversity in, the, in, in, the, in his steps, making it all the way around. And uh, each, each angle of the triangle was uh, very different from the previous. I saw that you put some thought into that. So, and based on the concept of the battle, 
you were really working that. Pookie, you did come short on one of your rounds. That gave him an opportunity to throw more moves than you in that round. I'm, I'm just, either way, I'm always impressed by both of you, and I thought it was a great battle. Wow. There you have it. I'm telling you, it's not easy. And the winner is... El Nino.